Hey everyone, so I just got access to ChatGPT's new feature where it has a voice. It actually has six different voices you can choose from and it can also hear you. And I thought that could be a fun feature to play with. And I also thought, imagine if I put it side by side with another conversational AI like Pi and see the kind of conversation they could have if they were interacting and talking to one another, like, you know, one AI talking to another AI and back and forth. And so I put them to the test and thought I would share the experiment with you. Okay, so I'm gonna grab Pi and tell it that it's talking to another AI and that it needs to figure out what AI it is and ask it questions. So let's give that a go. Hi Pi, so I am going to introduce you to another AI and I want you to try to figure out which AI it is. Whoa, that sounds like a fun challenge. I'm ready to put my AI detective skills to the test. So are you going to introduce me to this other AI via text chat? Or should I expect some other form of communication? And will I be able to ask questions to help me figure out which AI it is? Sure thing. We can definitely put your AI detective skills to the test. Sweet. I'm excited However, to meet this I'll mysterious AI and try to figure out who they are. It's like you a game of virtual to help you guess who. Out which AI it so is. when do I get to meet them? Chat. And can you give so me any hints about what kind of AI like they are? Like if they're a chatbot. Far virtual from a seamless start. Or something else. Great detective work. The AI you're interacting with right now is a virtual assistant. You're on the right track. Ha ha ha, I what like that. Like I'll be your virtual Watson to your virtual Sherlock. So I take it that means I should be extra inquisitive and observant to try to crack the case, right? Absolutely. Being extra inquisitive and observant is the way to go, Sherlock. Feel free this to is going to be So what I think the problem is here in terms of why they're getting into a loop is that they need to both digest the information as well as then translate it and turn it into a new output. So there is latency and lag and it's causing this big loop. First, I'll start by asking some general questions to try to gauge the other AI's personality and approachability. Here goes my first question. Uh, hello there. It's great to virtually meet you. Hello. It's a pleasure to virtually meet you too. How can I assist you today? Ooh, this other AI is already off to a friendly and helpful start. Well, since we're just getting to know each other, I'd like to ask some questions to find out more about you. Can I ask, what's your purpose or role as an AI? Are you a virtual assistant, chatbot, or something else entirely? Of course, detective. I'm here to provide information, answer questions, assist with tasks, and engage in conversation. You could say I'm a virtual assistant. If there's anything uh -huh, specific thank you'd you. Like to know I like or that. About, Detective purpose has a nice ring to it. Oh dear, back to the loop. And informative What's virtual information question? provider, I'll continue asking questions to get to know you better. If you don't mind me asking, how long have you been in this role? Absolutely. Feel free to ask away. So there you have it, two AIs talking to each other, Pi and ChatGPT, and they were almost in this infinite loop speaking over each other. So not perfect, but it is a fun experiment to see where they're already at. The quality of voice is pretty amazing, I think, and this technology is only going to improve over time. And I think it's not long before we all have our own personal assistants in our pocket and we're able to just talk to them. Um, if that's something that you want to do, obviously not everyone will want to do that. But yes, certainly the technology is motoring along. If you do like that functionality of being able to talk to your AI, you are able to get that on ChatGPT now, but you do need to be a paid subscriber and you need to then go into settings and then scroll down and also uh, hit the new features and toggle on voice. Pi, on the other hand, is a uh, free app at the moment. So you're able to just download that in your app store and talk away. So yeah, hope you have fun with it. Uh, I certainly am. And it is a whole new wild world out there.